Innovation and Design Thinking IDT VTU Module 1 MVP Prototyping Case Study The Efficacy of Prototyping Under Time Constraints Part 1 By J. Babu MVP Minimum Viable Product The Efficacy of Prototyping Under Time Constraints this is a case study was conducted by Stephen Doe and Scott Klemmer. Prototyping entails testing ideas regularly and receiving feedback. The four steps of canonical prototyping iteration are 1. Imagining possibilities to developing a prototype to exemplify a possibility 3. Receiving feedback on the prototype 4. Re-evaluating limitations Time limitations, on the other hand, frequently encourage organizations and individuals to prioritize realization over iteration. This case study examines whether, given a limited amount of time, a series of rapid prototypes yields more valuable design insights than devoting that time to a single iteration. For an individual design challenge, 28 individuals were randomly allocated to one of two conditions. Iterative and non-iterative In the iteration condition, participants were encouraged to test and develop their design several times. Participants in the non-iteration condition spent all of their design time constructing their designs and were not allowed to test them. Participants put all prototypes aside after the design phase and went into a build phase to put their design into action. The egg drop exercise was the design objective for this study, in which participants had to create a vessel out of everyday objects to protect a raw egg from a fall. This task has several enticing features. Success can be objectively measured by drop height. Participants only require rudimentary technical knowledge. There are numerous legitimate solutions, and it can be done in an hour. The key dependent variable was the drop height. Before and after the design stage, participants estimated the performance of their vessel. Is iterative prototyping undervalued? Design is frequently confined by time, which can deter designers from iterating. Many people believe that businesses undervalue iteration. Prototyping has a specific bottom line cost although this cost estimate is sometimes erroneous or shifts over time. Prototyping is typically avoided by businesses because they fear the cost investment will be high and the return will be low. It's difficult to persuade companies that one more iteration costs less than a faulty product. While economists have developed economic models and conducted cost-benefit analysis to support rapid iteration, resource constraints remain a major impediment to its use in industry. Psychological theories of learning barriers can provide insight into why prototyping occurs so infrequently in practice if prototyping is viewed as a learning process. People's beliefs about whether intelligence is primarily fixed or mostly altered by practice have a major impact on whether they seek out learning opportunities. People with high self-esteem respond less negatively to failure. They focus on strengths rather than problems. Genuine experimenting necessitates taking risks. The literature on educational psychology can help arrange the setting such that designers are completely engaged in the prototype process. Method used in this study The design task had two conditions individuals encouraged to conduct iterative testing, iteration, and individuals prevented from conducting iterative testing, non-iteration. This study tested the following hypotheses. Participants in the iteration condition will outperform the non-iteration group. Participants in the iteration condition will report a larger increase in pre- or post-confidence levels that is perceived ability than the non-iteration condition. Participants with prior exposure to the design task will outperform participants with no exposure. 
participants with prior general design experience will outperform participants with no design experience materials and design task in selecting the experimental task it was sought to achieve the following four criteria presents a clear objective measure of design quality requires minimal design or engineering expertise can be completed by individuals within 1 hour offers many parts to achieve an effective result the egg drop exercise was used for this study in which participants create a vessel out of everyday things to protect raw egg from a fall the performance of this study is measured by dropping a single egg from a 1 foot marker then 2 3 and so on until the egg cracks the highest height in feet at which the egg survives a fall is used to assess task performance supplied materials in this study is broad enough to elicit a variety of approaches while also being tough enough to yield a diverse range of performances according to pilot study in this study eight pipe cleaners eight rubber bands eight popsicle sticks one 4 inches by 6 inches piece of flat foam and one foot of scotch tape were used as design materials see the figure one left all of the items including building materials scissors eggs and directions were on the table subjects got either a credit toward their course research participation requirement or a 20 dollars amazon gift card in exchange for their time participants were also told that the two best performing vessels would receive additional amazon gift cards as an added incentive participants 28 students from a university averaging 21.1 years old and representing a wide range of majors took part in the study participants were randomized to one of two conditions at random gender prior egg drop experience and general design experience were all taken into account in the study the egg drop practice was familiar to 12 of the participants Six of the participants had either worked as product designers or were involved in frequent design activities. Procedure. Participants filled out a consent form and demographics questionnaire. The egg drop exercise and the precise guidelines for the assigned condition were described verbally by the experimenter. See the figure 2. All participants were told they would have 25 minutes to design. Participants had 15 minutes to complete the final design, then a 10-minute interview and the egg drop test. Total time is 55 minutes. Participants were given a set of construction materials and told that if they needed more, they could get them. After the design session, the researcher cleaned up the workstation and replaced the original materials with a new set this time without replacements. Participants in the control group, that is no iteration group, were given one egg during the design stage, which was also utilized in the final egg drop. Entire carton of eggs was delivered to participants in the manipulation group, that is iteration group. During the design phase, iteration participants were instructed to execute a test drop at 5, 10, 15 and 25 minutes. The participants in this study were not limited to only 4 drops, nor were all 4 drops rigidly enforced. Participants in the iteration group could test their design ideas at any time in the drop zone, which was close to the design table. After hearing the instructions and right before the egg drop test participants were asked to estimate their perceived performance on the task in feet at the end of the build process a short open ended interview with participants asking them to describe their concept and their biggest concern about how the egg would break next video presents the results of this egg drop experiment thanks for watching comment for any suggestions like share and subscribe for more videos